is Melissa Martinez with Austin American Statesman. And this is Christina Vidya with Walton's Fancy and Staple. And today we're going to make macaroon cookies. We'll start by making a sugar syrup. Add one cup of sugar into a pot. Pour enough water just to cover until it looks and resembles like wet sand. And turn the burner on to medium. Allow it to sit without stirring until it reaches a soft ball stage, which is 240 degrees. While that's cooking, we'll start getting the mix going. Add one and a quarter cup of almond flour and one and a quarter cup of powdered sugar to a large bowl. Add half a cup of egg whites and combine everything using a bowl scraper to make a paste. Macaron actually comes from an Italian word which means to make a paste. Make sure everything is incorporated and you can't see any more of the dry ingredients. Once you've created your paste, you can add your color into the mix. Fold food coloring into the paste and doing the steps by hand. It can be difficult, very thick. If you use an electric mixer, it will incorporate air and thus the cookies will not turn out properly. Check on the sugar syrup. Around 230 degrees, you can start whipping up your egg whites. Add half a cup and two tablespoons of egg whites to a stand mixer and beat them on medium speed. You don't want to over whip the egg whites because again, you'll incorporate too much air. When the sugar syrup reaches 240, take it off the burner and start adding into your egg whites. You want to pour the sugar syrup down the side of the bowl slowly. It's important not to pour it into the whisk. We don't want the sugar to make strands. Beat egg whites and sugar until the bowl is warm to the touch. You're looking for the egg whites to have a shine and the meringue to be loose where it almost holds together but it'll still fall a little bit. Once the meringue is done, you're going to add the egg whites into the paste into thirds, folding to incorporate. If you add it all at once, you'll kill the meringue and drop its volume. So adding in thirds allows you to loosen it up and incorporate it into the batter. Spoon the cookie batter into a pastry bag fitted with a 204 tip. Always have the top of the bag folded down while filling it. You can use a tall cup to stabilize it so you can easily fill the bag. As far as the sizes goes, it's your preference. Here at Walton's, we do half dollar sizes. The cookies don't grow or spread, so you can actually pipe them close together. One thing you want to definitely do once you pipe all these macarons is you want to bang the cookie sheet against the counter just to loosen um, the batter and to um, make the, any air bubbles pop out of it before it goes into the oven. Let the cookies rest for 13 minutes before baking. They should all form a shell. Bake in a, on a preheated oven for 16 minutes at 275 degrees. Now we want to turn the cookies over. They're stuck to the paper, but they'll come off. If they stick too much, you can use a spatula or a knife, or you can freeze them and they'll come off the sheet much easier. Using a pastry bag filled with buttercream, fill the cookies with a big dollop of buttercream so that when you make the sandwich, the filling slightly comes out. Once you've filled all of your cookies, your macarons are ready to enjoy. 